Do you want to see how the wealthy actually talk about the poor? Let's take a look at a conversation that occurred between John Taffer and Laura Ingram. Keep in mind that John Taffer is worth $14 million and Laura Ingram is worth $40 million. What if we gave that additional unemployment benefits to employers to incentivize people to go to work? Well, what if, what if we just cut off the unemployment? I mean, yeah, hunger, is a, it, hunger is a pretty powerful thing. I don't mean physical hunger, because people who truly in, are in need need help. I'm talking about people who can work, but refuse to work. John, I want to ask you, though, about this, this idea of work-life balance. Have we taken that a step too far when you think of, well, a lot of the millennials talking about, oh, I need time for self-care. I don't know why I'm harping on that tonight, but the whole self-care movement is a little, I mean, my mother is not with us anymore, but she worked by the time she was 12 during the Depression. If she heard the self-care thing, I think her head would explode. <laughs> you know, I think that's right. Old I school. have a friend in the military who trains military dogs, Laura, and they only feed a military dog at night because a hungry dog is an obedient dog. Well, if we're not causing people to be hungry to work, that, then we're providing them with all the meals they need sitting at home. So let's break this down. First, Laura suggests that they should cut off unemployment altogether because being hungry is a good motivator. And even though she's quick to correct that she doesn't mean physical hunger, I don't believe that and I'll get into why as we're breaking this down. Next, Laura brings up the idea of self-care in a mocking tone and then lauds up this example of her mother who started working when she was 12. Because that's what they want. Trust me, the wealthy would be dying to employ your children if child labor were still legal. Not to mention that the idea that you should take care of yourself to them is laughable. You exist to work. Didn't you get the memo? Uh -huh. And next, John Taffer talks about how when you train military dogs, you have to keep them physically hungry and compares the poor to dogs who should be allowed to starve so that they'll go out and work. Which is why I don't believe Laura Ingram's statement that she's not talking about physical hunger. And this whole conversation is predicated on this idea that Laura put out at the beginning of this clip saying that, well, you know, people, people who can work but don't. It's just this fake idea that people have been putting out there for decades that the majority of people on unemployment or on welfare are people that are completely capable of working but choose not to. Even though the standards for qualifying for unemployment are incredibly high. These wealthy people don't give a crap about you and would rather see you starve to death if you're not able to work toward their bottom line. We need to stop protecting them. We need to stop defending them. And we need to stop voting against our own best interest to further their wealth.